Good morning, everyone. It is uh, Bagadon, Stock Market Caddy, May 7th, May 7th at about 10 a.m. And uh, the noise levels are picking up. And um, what are we doing? We're doing what we do each and every day. We come to our uh, proprietary uh, systems and look at where money is flowing and where it is not. And we take the appropriate action and uh, without a whole lot of interpretation. Once again, folks, if this sort of approach appeals to you, uh, feel free to give us a call. If you're at TradeStation and need some help writing uh, code, we're available for that sort of thing too. But let's get cut right to it. This is the volatility index. Um, this is the, the mainstay. This is our, um, our strategy, stop levels, weather, slope, wind direction, the fairway width, and individual high probability clubs that we like to hit. Um, now we come here to the volatility index with the damage that's been done thus far what is absolutely incredible is look at the VIX is this thing even working it is still in a short mode this is a contrarian indicator folks if we would want to see this VIX lighting up um, green we want to see the VIX long to confirm these short positions. So we're making good money, but boy, I tell you what, uh, this VIX is just a broken uh, a broken vehicle right now and or a targeted vehicle by the central plan is trying to keep, you know, everybody calm on the back of the plane, God forbid, as this thing is, um, you know, uh, struggling to maintain our altitude. This will light up green when this baby really gets to go and so we'll let you know but right now we got a little bit of a um, tailwind but that's about it she's as calm as can be absolutely incredible here is the S&P S&P on the shorter time frame so we're, in, we're talking one hour you know um, 240 the daily is flat with a hint of an early bird sell so if you're looking to get short at this market I'd understand that the best opportunity risk reward would be the ES on a daily, daily basis. That's where how we would be positioned. The Russell is long in the tooth a little bit. Um, you can see a big block of red here. Um, you know, she has been gave great, great signals on the hour and the 240 and then the daily remains to be short. They are coming out. Why is the Russell so, uh, so expensive? Not explode. Well, I guess it is expensive, but why it is so important is that is where the, the real speculators are, large specs and even the small specs. And we had commented about the commitment of traders report for those people that trade futures and that the large specs had moved to a net short position. And the the uh, small specs, they're always on the wrong side of the trade. They were at a net long position, um, just the opposite of where they were, you know, January of last year. So the Russell is struggling. The key level on the Russell or the IWM is 108, folks. 108 gets taken out and the volume explodes, which we think it would, and closes below 108. You're going to see the S&P right behind it. It'll take them, take them with them. So there, uh, the Russell and the Nasdaq, and look at the Nasdaq um, continuing to struggle. Um, the daily still flat. We got an early bird sell here. Uh, we've had some great trades on the Nasdaq, but uh, the risk reward, the ones that are hanging in there, are the S and P and the Dow. You know, they got everybody. Well, get out of that high, high spec stuff. Get into the dividend paying stuff. Get into the stodgy stuff. That's exactly what they told folks for anyone who, oh man, I guess you'd have to be 25 years old now, <laughs> whatever, but, um, you know, knew about uh, 2000. They came out of, they got people out of the dot com. They put them in a company called Lucent. <laughs> Remember Lucent? They were the widest owned company in 2000. More people, pension funds, owned more shares of Lucent than any other stock. What's Lucent? It's gone. So if you think there's going to be a haven, well, then you you go ahead and have the, the wealth managers park your money, you know, tell you you're going to get a 2 3% dividend and go back to sleep. Um, uh, we won't. Again, these levels, this is telling you, this is giving you a flash warning. So if you're looking to initiate shorts on a risk reward basis, I'd probably go to the S&P or the Dow. Um, not as much action as these, but these, you know, you had to have had a system like this. And then let's just slide down 
and take a look at uh, there's a lot of things that we trade and could offer but we looking at the the bonds look at the bonds long daily long um, 30 year long um, just the opposite of what all the prognosticators said was going to happen right they said that uh, interest rates were going to rise and that bonds were going to fall and there was going to be this huge rotation of money from the bond market into the stock market and we were going to go to the moon the market fools the most amount of people most of the time we try not to let it fool us not a game you can win only a game you can play if you're interested in learning how to play this game you need a mentor you need someone to help work with you to develop some systems you want to actually lease the very same systems and trade the the time frame that you want to trade from over here um, give us a call um, not many other folks give you that opportunity be in touch